Hi everyone, welcome back. And I wanted to talk a little bit more about my favorite skincare and specifically ZO Skin Health. Um, it's a wonderful uh, product and um, I wanted to talk specifically only on their basic core. Um, if you do some research on YouTube, uh, you'll see some clips with Dr. Obaji and he's talking about the importance of um, bringing, if you have a skincare problem, to bring it back to the basics and you should always maintain the basics, which is really uh, to cleanse your skin, to remove any dirt or sebum, um, to scrub it and to use um, oil control or basically um, a toner. So what he's trying to say is, yeah, the cleanser is to remove the dirt, so it has to be appropriate pH level. And um, with the scrub, it's to, uh, it's a physical exfoliation. And I find as you age, you need to um, exfoliate more frequently because when you're getting older, the cellular turnover is a lot less. And then of course the next step is the toner and the toner would be really helping disinfecting uh, maybe any breakouts and the toner that I prefer is um, something to soothe my skin and it's not from the scrub or the cleanser it didn't strip anything away but because I'm a lot older, the air is very dry, there's no humidity inside my home. I get really dehydrated um, and the air is so dry. So that's why I always say I have normal to dry skin. But yeah, I'm getting some breakouts now. Part of it um, is definitely from uh, wearing the mask because of this pandemic. So. I'm not happy with that, but we need to wear a mask. I need to get out from my errand so, or go to work. And it's, uh, I need to protect myself. So this is very understanding. So I made some notes um, a little bit about the Zio cleanser. There's three different kinds. I forgot one of them, which I don't use and I'll probably get just maybe for the summer season for evening wash. It's a cleanser with tiny little beads that break down and it helps just really uh, wash your skin really good. And I probably need, I should be using that in the summertime because of the reapplication of the sunscreen and all the dirt and being at the beach and that kind of thing. And the makeup, if I'm wearing makeup, to take it all off. So that's one thing. And then they have another one called a gentle cleanser. Yes, the Gentle Cleanser. I have this one, the Gentle Cleanser, and um, it has its proper pH level, and um, it's able to remove um, your makeup if you do double cleanse, but um, I personally feel that I need to use an eye makeup remover um, and, and take off the eye makeup, because as you can see with my eye makeup right now, I got a little bit heavy with the liner and a little bit underneath, and um, uh, the, the eyeshadow, so I, I went a little bit more heavy than I normally do. And uh, that's because of the outfit. I know I'm changing the subject right now, but if you can tell, this is more of a, a boho uh, look. And um, so that's what I'm wearing at the moment. So just continuing on, um, the one that I really like to use, especially during the winter season, it's called um, the Hydrating Cleanser. This is really good if you're taking retinol at night or Retin-A and you know, you're going through all the peeling and it depends. You can go through different stages and I can talk about this deeper um, at, on another video, but you know, with the, the exfoliation, of course you're gonna use something during the day to scrub off all the peely stuff, but to cleanse it, uh, you wanna use a hydrating cleanser. And just to mention that what the hydrating cleanser has, it has sodium hyaluronate, oh my gosh, I cannot pronounce these words, panthenol, glycerin, sodium, PCA, uh, urea, 
and there's a lentoin and that's supposed to be an ingredient that helps soothe your skin so yes this cleanser is a little bit moisturizing and it has a oh give me some help to say this lipopeptide uh, mystiage pentapentide <laughs> number eight so i don't know i cannot pronounce that but Give me thumbs up please for just at least making the effort of pronouncing these words i'd really appreciate it thumbs up on that alone <laughs> so basically that one helps stimulate collagen production um, but it is sort of like a moisturizing cleanser i am i find uh, because i can get acne prone um, it doesn't bring any of that out just to give you some peace of mind if you're hesitating if you're acne prone combination skin but you're going through a phase maybe for one month in the winter when it's like minus 35 uh, you could use this and you don't have to worry about promoting uh, more acne out of that just to give you that peace of mind and just to move along, um, I cannot find a dupe of this at all for a drugstore brand. I, I just have to let you know, with this, you just only need a pea size and you put it on wet skin and you rub your face and neck and it removes everything off. And if you have some makeup, I mean, I use an eye makeup remover just for the eye area, but if I'm wearing blush and all that kind of stuff, uh, bronzer and contour, um, doing a double cleanse of this is enough so i cannot find a dupe of this and just a pea size it's really concentrated but if you have a budget and you really want to stretch this out i use this um, this is an empty bottle i don't i have to restock on it but just so i can make this last a little bit longer maybe you want to use this once a week and then for the rest of the week to uh, wash your skin at night, to use the Neutrogena Ultra Gentle Cleanser, the for, um, foaming formula. And it's safe on the eyes also. Again, you would still have to use your eye makeup remover to remove all of this off, but just to let you know about that. Now moving on is their scrub. This is their scrub and it's called the Exfoliating Polish and I'm telling you this is super gritty, super gritty and it's fantastic and you only need a little bit off to take, um, to take off the flakies but I like to use this one usually in the evening if I'm going way heavy on the makeup because I'm going somewhere making an appearance or I'm going to be on camera. Um, so I would use this after I wash um, but typically I use uh, I scrub my skin in the morning and I, this is what I do you probably already seen my review on the Aquanil I'll use this and I'll mix some baking soda and it will stretch out this product just to let you know just for someone who's being a little bit frugal I would still purchase this highly highly recommend it but um, to stretch it out a little bit um, you could alternate with um, using a gentle cleanser uh, that you don't even need water to wash your face with um, and then mix it with a little bit of baking soda and that's a very good mix uh, of a facial scrub. Just a little tip there. Moving on to the third step that uh, Dr. Obaji likes to talk about is a toner. Um, Dr. Obaji has three of them. This one is called the Complexion Renewal Pads and um, this one is just enough to, uh, you know, I'm gonna do some research about the ingredients just to let you know, but I find because I have very uh, normal to dry skin, I can tolerate this, but I use this throughout the day when I get a heavy buildup of sunscreen. I'll quickly wipe it down because I don't have time to wash my face. I'm at work and um, I'll just wipe it down and then reapply my sunscreen. That's only when I have a thick layer of sunscreen from reapplication every couple of hours. But the one that I truly prefer is this one and it's called the Calming Toner. And because I have normal to dry skin, what helps with this is just really a wetness but it's soothing, it's soothing water. That's what it is basically. And it's a very runny like water, uh, just to let you know. 
when you're new to this product I find it tingles a little bit but if you use it on regular basis it's fantastic and when I say tingle only for a split second for myself but if it's really raw and dry uh, wind burn yeah my tingle tingle just up to a minute just to let you know but then the same with the Misa time revolution and I talked about this on my other video so with this one yes um, it, it can tingle for a split second and I find this one is stronger better quality but when I say stronger not a burning sensation just to let you know so both of these are good this is an alternative for price wise i think there's only about five to ten dollar difference so if you know about a toner um, that's very soothing and proper ph level would you please post that below so i could find an alternative to this one uh, i would really appreciate it um, this one I like to use daily, but with these three products, this is what I use all the time and sometimes this is all I need and then sunscreen on top of it and that's my morning routine. Um, and then at night it would be the cleanser. Um, I, I don't use a scrub as much, but I could if it's heavy uh, makeup and I would just want to do a little bit extra. And then of course my Retin-A and that's keeping it at its bare minimum. So if you're on a limited budget, just remember to use a cleanse, scrub and tone and it depends on your skin type. And if I can find a dupe, I will mention it. So take care. I hope you really enjoyed this. And uh, please comment below on your opinion of Zio Skin Health. What do you like? And how long did it do you use it before you have formed that opinion and what you use re on regular basis? So I'm really interested and take care. Bye.